keeping your eye on the back of the ball. And why I say that is with every shot, even when you're putting, if you keep your eyes on the back of the ball, which I kind of keep my left eye so my head is here, I'm going to make better contact with the ball because I've asked people, I said, okay, when you're addressing the ball, where are you looking at it? And they're like, in front of it? No. <laughs> on top of it. I'm like, why would you be looking all those places when you're trying to make contact with the back of the ball? Good contact. So what that does is when you make good contact with the back of the ball and you've got your eyes back there, when you swing the club, your weight stays where it should stays where it should. When you come in and you still have your eyes on the back of the ball, your weight's where it should be. And then once you hit it, you swing to your left side, to your target. What happens with us, and even the professionals, I do it too. If I don't keep my weight, my, what's happening is when I say keep your eyes there, I don't have to tell you to keep your weight to your right side and then go to your left side. All I need to do is tell you to make contact with the ball, Try and see the club hit the ball, which you won't because the club head is going too fast. But then you swing down the line. Very simple. So what happens is if we don't keep our eyes back there, we take the club back and sure they're there now. But when we, our first move is here, guess where my head is? Way ahead of the ball. I can't get to the back of the ball anymore. So what that does, it just keeps you where you need to be. But don't hit it and fall back, okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying once you make contact, swing to your target because remember we're not going to hit the ball the club is passing the ball on the way to your target 